Hello, my amazing artists. Today, I'm going to read to you a book about one of my favorite artists, Henri Matisse. Now, Henri was from France, and he was an abstract artist, mostly in his life. And an abstract artist is an artist who um, paints or sculpts or <clears throat> draws things that don't quite look like anything. And that means it's abstract. So a realist artist would be someone who it looks like something real. Like you look at it and you can tell it's a cat or a dog or a flower. But an abstract artist, you're like, hmm, I'm not quite sure what that is. And that's interesting. So Ari Matisse um, was a painter, but then later on in his life, he um, collaged and they say he painted with his scissors. So today we're going to read Ari's Scissors by Jeanette Winter. And then we're going to make our own collage and paint with our scissors, like mine. You can see this one. All right, so let's get started. Henri's Scissors by Jeanette Winter. Says Matisse got as close as one can to heaven with a pair of scissors by Romare Bairdon. In a small weaving town in France, a young boy named Henri Emile Benoit Matisse watched his mother paint China. He wanted to paint too. He drew pictures in the sand, and he drew pictures in his school books. When Henri was a young man, he drew pictures in his law books and on contracts, deeds, and wills. Henri was sick in bed with appendicitis one winter. His mother gave him a box of paints, and he painted until he was well. He kept on painting and forgot about the law and left his small town to be an artist in Paris. He painted pictures day after day and year after year. He was happy, and his paintings, they made people happy. But when Matisse was an old man, he felt ill. So ill, he couldn't paint. So ill that he couldn't sit up. So ill, he could only lie in bed and sleep. His paintings floated by in his dreams. Matisse finally opened his eyes, and they were filled with sadness. Now he must re remain in bed or use a wheelchair. Would he ever have the energy to paint again? When Matisse was strong enough to travel, he went to the seaside. The sea air might help him get well, and before long, he sat up. A little bit later, and he drew. Then one day, Matisse picked up a pair of scissors and cut out shapes from painted paper. He was drawing with scissors. A pair of scissors, he said, is a wonderful instrument. Matisse cut paper all day. He said, my pleasure in cutting things out grows even greater. Why didn't I think of it earlier? His assistants painted paper for him all day long. It seems to me that I am in a second life, he said. Paper cutouts covered his walls. Now these are some real shapes that he used in his paintings. These are real paintings of his. But you can see that they don't quite look like anything. They're abstract. One evening, Matisse lay in bed and he drew the faces of his grandchildren on the ceiling with a piece of chalk tied to a long pole. And as he fell asleep, they looked down on him and saw his dreams. They saw the shapes that surrounded him in his sleep. As time went on, Matisse got bigger and bigger shapes, and they filled his seaside room with color. He said, you see, as I am obliged to remain often in bed, 
I've made a little garden all around me where I can walk. There are leaves and fruits and birds. Do you, these look like leaves to you? Do they look like flowers? I am deeply contented and happy. Then one night, Matisse walked out into his paper garden and the rainbow of shapes cradled the old artist and carried him into the heavens. Are some of the stars we see at night coming to us from Henri's scissors? Perhaps. Though produced by a very old man who was mortally ill, the cutouts seem to come from a springtime of the world. And that's by John Russell. And then here are some pictures. Some, they're drawings of some paintings that he really did. So these were his paintings. And then later on, you can see his cutouts like those. All right, let's get started. Hello, my amazing artists. Okay, so today we're going to make, we're going to paint with our scissors, just like Matisse painted with his scissors. Now, for this, I've got blue paper, but you can use just regular white copy paper, whatever you have lying around. And um, you're going to want some different scraps of things. Now, I've got painted paper because I'm in the art room. And you guys know I love painted paper, and so did Matisse. That's why I think it's so fabulous. But if you don't have painted paper, you can use like an old envelope or magazine clippings. You know what I even like to do? Sometimes when I've done coloring pages or a drawing and I've put it on the fridge long enough and I've decided, okay, I'm kind of done with that. I can take one of my old coloring pages or my drawings and cut it up and it make it something new out of it. So you might just look around and see what you've got. I even have, oh my gosh, look what's so fun. I even have foil. How fun would that be to glue down? So, and that brings me to glue. You can use white glue, you can use a glue stick, or you can even use tape if you don't have glue or your mom doesn't want to get the glue out. That's okay. And then you're just gonna need a pair of scissors. So when we are, ever cutting or when we are um, painting with our scissors, you're gonna want a piece of paper that's manageable. And so I mean like, you see how long this piece is? If I want it manageable, I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit so that I don't have this big long piece that I'm trying to deal with. That's a much better size. And when I'm cutting, I wanna try to keep my scissors pretty still and I'm just gonna move my paper back and forth you see how my scissors are just opening and closing but it's this hand that's doing all the moving so I might do that then I might you know do it this way and maybe I do smaller zigzags because I can do a lot of crazy things with this hand while the other one is cutting, just like open and down, and this one's going back and forth. Then I'm gonna cut out just like a few more shapes, and the, this one's strips, but I could do like, I could just cut off little pieces of it, you know? And so it doesn't have to be any of these crazy shapes. We talk about um, Matisse liked organic shapes, shapes that are like, curved and they look like it could be a plant or an animal although it's abstract it could be all, all, anything um but you don't have to do just organic shapes and then ooh, i could take this and i could kind of cut some shape out of it and it might bend and it might give me a different shape and let's kind of get creative with it Oops. There we go. So I might have that shape. And here's my picture that I'm done with. You can see he has one eye cut out or one eye colored. Um, I might just, let's see what I'm gonna do with this. I might get a little bit like this. I 
he's kind of had those um, cool coral shapes because he lived by the ocean. Um, at the end of his life, he was inspired a lot by the ocean. So I might kind of have like some, uh, some sort of like cool coral shape. All right. So once I have my some pieces cut out, I'm going to lay them out on my on my paper and just kind of you know arrange them how I want. And then I can always cut more pieces, but this just kind of gives me an idea of where I want things to go. So I might do that, and then I'm going to glue. Now remember, when you're using the white glue, it should be closed. I'm going to clean it off, clean the tip off, and then I'm going to just turn the orange piece, the orange tip, turn it, but I don't turn this side, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of squeeze. Do you hear that? That means he's ready. Okay, when he tells me he's ready, if he doesn't tell me he's ready, I'm gonna close him back up, clean him off again. Sometimes that, there's like a some glue dried at the tip and I have to kind of, you know, scratch that off, open him back up and, yep, he's ready to go. Then I'm going to just kind of shake the glue to the bottom and give a little bit around the edges. Now, watch when I'm putting this down. I've got some coming off the side. That's okay, because I can always go back and turn this over and kind of clean up the edges. But um, just because it's that shape doesn't mean the whole thing has to go on there. And then I'm going to again outline the edges. Oop, you know what, and I decided I want to overlap some of my shapes. And that's okay, I can change my mind. Put some glue down like that. And then I'm going to do some more do my last big shape and give it a little bit of a picture frame glue him down to get that off there okay now once I've done a lot of my gluing I might decide that I have some open spaces and I need to cut some more off or cut some more out and glue it down or something else that I can do is I can take some crayons and I can start to draw some stuff around just to go along with my picture. Kind of push all that down and I'm going to use my crayons. Okay, so I have um, some construction paper crayons, but you can use just regular construction paper crayons. And I'm going to just kind of draw in some shapes and color around. If this is under the water, I might add some bubbles, but some yellow bubbles. I might add in some white bubbles. So I could just get creative and do lots of fun things on my paper and paint with scissors just like Matisse did. And when you're done, I would love to see your creations. So either bring them back to school or have your mom and dad take a picture for me and, um, and send it to me. Now you can leave it like this or you can just take your scissors and kind of trim off the edges and make it one piece of completed artwork. Like that. All right, y'all have fun and enjoy your break, and I look forward to seeing you at school.